Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. The next important data cleaning technique is scaling and normalization. What is scaling? By seeing this picture, we can guess who is stronger. But if you ask to a machine in terms of a number, that is whether 15,000 versus 150, mostly the machine will choose 15,000, that is this small boy. It means it is totally wrong. In order to avoid these type of scenario, we have to scale the value either changing all the values to kg or all the values to gram. Now if you ask to a machine, it will identify properly. This will tell either 150 kg is the stronger person or 150,000 grams. Few more examples comparison between INR versus US dollar, kg versus pound, centimeter versus food. So the conclusion here is we have to convert all the values to a single unit. Once we are done with this, the next step is we have to change the range of data and it is also the definition of scaling. Scaling means changing the range of data. In this graph you can look the value ranges from 0 to 10 and this range of value the original data is converted to a scaled data all these value converted to 0 to 1 scale that's what mentioned here we have to change the range of data and this range of data can be between 0 to 1 or in some cases between 0 to 100 this is how we have to scale it but you may think why we have to do this by scaling your variables you can help compare different variables on equal footing for example two columns one is for the weight another one is for the height both of the units are totally different but if you want to compare those two columns bringing the two columns under a common scale will help us to analyze the data very easily these can be done using the python library so you no need to worry about that once we complete the scaling the next step is normalization normalization means change the shape of the distribution of data scaling means we are changing the range of the data normalization means changing the shape of the data and this is a very famous interview question what is the difference between scaling and normalization and normalization is also called as gaussian distribution here comes the importance of probability and statistics now you can understand why we must know the mathematical knowledge here they are changing the original data from this to a normalized data once again, why it should be in the normalized data format or why it should be in the bell curve? The reason is if the variables are distributed normally, from this we can calculate the mean, median, standard deviation. Then it is easy to convert back and forth from raw scores to percentiles. This is the place where we use mathematical knowledge a lot. We have four scaling methods rescaling it is also called as min max normalization then mean normalization then third one is standardization which is also called as z score normalization and fourth method is unit vector based on your requirement you can choose any of this method if it is rescaling and unit vector means the range between 0 and 1 and if it is mean normalization means it is between minus 1 to 1 and if it is z score means we have to replace all the values in that column with z score by keeping mean equal to 0 and standard deviation equal to 1 and these are all the respective formulas and you no need to worry about these four formulas because once again I will be posting a separate video to explain each concept for time being the takeaway point is scaling means changing the range of data Normalizing means changing the shape of the distribution of data. If you remember these two points, it is more than enough. That's the end of this video. 
in the next video we will see the remaining topics thanks for watching happy learning